most exciting experience coming back. We had such a great time on series one, so now to be back into series two and to see where all the characters are going and you know the amazing storylines that Lou and Tony have concocted, it's just a joy to be back. Well, it's great to work with everyone again who were there from season one. It's great to revisit this story, I think. It's not just the fans or the viewers of the show that kind of wanted answers. I think the actors and everyone working on it kind of, you know, wanted to uh, explore their characters further and wanted to see what was in Lou's fantastic mind. So season one for me felt like that it ultimately landed on the question of who. You had no right to bring me back. And I feel like season two probably really addresses the questions of how and then obviously the bigger question of why. Dr. Alicia McKellar is dead. She died at Epworth Hospital four years ago. Well, series one really left on a cliffhanger. Everyone wanted to know about Alicia McKellar. Who is this woman? How does she fit into the story? What role did she have to play? First season really got everybody in and people were like, uh, what? We haven't answered virtually anything. Season one was left with so many questions for audience and quite deliberately. In the end, they just kind of wanted to know, how did this happen? I think that's the, the main thing, how did this happen? The audience want to know how we came back. Tell me how <laughs> the Risen came out of the earth that night. <laughs> Let's just stick to the facts, what we know for certain. None of this makes any sense. What's going to happen with the Sarah Kate James triangle? Why is there a freaking boundary around us that's making people's eyes bleed, collapse and killing the risen? It's like, what is that and who is Norgard? You know, what, what is Norgard? What, what role did it have in everything? They have more of a presence in season two and there are some questions that are answered. There's, yeah, we get answers. And there are others, some other questions that aren't. We always leave more questions to be answered. <laughs> that's the job. I think people will be happy about season two. They're going to get a deeper understanding of the characters they fell in love with. Job and all this is normal. I don't feel normal. I'm the victim here. Charlie Thompson was a coward. They're going to get a glimpse into the worlds that they didn't have a glimpse last series, like Norgard. When Lou and I were talking about why we would do a season two, it was always about the fact that you want to make it better. You know, you want to make it more dangerous, more moving, more exciting, more mysterious, all of those things. We've really tried to step this up this season. It's a lot bigger than what it was in series one. It's cranked up. It's like it, the intensity is up. There are so many things that are both relatable and yet delightful and mysterious and glitch. And I, I think that it's that combination of the two which makes it so unique.